Good evening. Good evening, Bogart. Good evening, Tita Nancy. Hello, good evening po. Hi, Rigel. Hello po. Hello po. Good evening. Everyone. Hello. May trabaho kaya ata, Jill? Ay. Niyak si Bogart. Ano si po? Ang ganda ng message niyo, Pastor. Amen. Kapatid ko yan, tita. Si King Solomon o si ano si David? <laughs> <laughs> o si Eli? <laughs> si Eli. Si Eli, the fat priest. Kaya nagpapapayat na ako. Mahirap nito mamba. Pumayat ka na, Pastor. Ha? Pumayat ka ng half pound? <laughs> half pound? Parang bigas lang. Ha? Hi, Jaya. Hi, Sister Vilma. Ay, good news po uh, yung panganay ko si Ryan uh, uh, tinest na uh, negative. Oh, that's nice. Uh, answer prayer po. Answer prayer. Yeah. Bilis. Ang dami nag-positive sa Pinas ngayon. Ah. Opo, ang dami po. Grabe. Ang yeah, dami. Uh, Pag-pray natin. Yeah. Bayad pa naman sa atin ang testing. Oho. Uh -huh. Yang mahal, mahal. Dito, ano eh, test all you can, walang bayad eh. Yeah, pero po ang haba ng pila pag sa Kaiser, mga tatlong oras, anim na oras. So, yeah, pero wow. mayroon ano yung 15 minutes. Yung 15 minutes na... Ay, yung ano, kit. Opo. Yeah. Napagayata ako. Anong oras po dapat eh, ito, Clark? Hindi naman po. Uh, kasi yung ibang book, may klisya, isang 30, yung iba 40, yung iba 50. So, mas maikli itong book na to mga 40 minutes lang na na-summarize. Ang ganda, ganda ng anong buhay niya, no? Marami siyang chicks. Babayero pala. Parang, parang ngayon pa Parang panawa. Kalaan yung sanlibo. Yeah. Ay, tita na lang kayo, Pastor. Kumusta ako po? Hello po. Kumusta ako po? Maya pabingi po. Magandang gabi po. Maya po. Maya pabingi po. Maya pabingi po. Santing na po yung baleyo. Ay, alya kaya. Ganda nga ng bahay nga eh. Alin po. Pilipinas po ito. Alin po. Hindi po dito, Pastor. Pilipinas. Suko po Pilipinas. <laughs> Pinaparent lang po. Suko niya po yung baleo kayo yung Pilipinas. Yung pong uh, uh, San Fernando rin po. Um, mm. Lapit si Dalami, Angeles. Hindi kang lapit tamo po pala eh. Suko rin ko po. Angeles kami. O Angeles, yeah, before Angeles. King uh, Rich Town 2. Harap na ning, malapit ah. kalabastangan ng SM. SM? Kaya basta agad mayroon ng bago ngayon. Ay, itong boundary. Opo, doon po kami. Iba ay kami dati dyan sa St. Jude eh. San Fernando. Oo, sa St. Jude. Hanggang yeah. ngayon sa inyo pa rin po yun. Hindi Wala na. na po, nabenta na. Ah, nabenta na. Okay. Hmm. Good evening, uh, Daniel. Good evening, Daniel. Good evening, Aileen. Good evening, Hello, Tita good evening Josie. Lahat. Hi, Tita Josie. Anong ulam? Sabi Lord doon. Manuel, anong ulam? Hello. <laughs> ano lagi yung Siyempre yun. Ano niluto ni Tita Josie? Sa Sabado ba may kain na pa ako para para makapunta ako? Ano kayo? Team white? Team blue o team white? <laughs> Sunday ya po. Team blue. Ay, Sunday, Sunday, sorry. Blue. Sunday, 1 o'clock. Sorry, Saturday. Sunday, 1 o'clock. No. Malaking ano yan ha. Bakbakan eh. Mahirap matalo daw yung blue. Baka wala tayong kainin. <laughs> oh Yeah, Sunday. At least po ginawa. Hi! Oh, naka-blue na si Tita Josie. <laughs> naka-blue na talaga. Kaya talagang, talagang, talagang magluluto. Pwede po makipag-trade ng, ano, ng player. 
Oh, Pwede ng i-trade si Tyrone. <laughs> Pwede gusto namin si Tita Elio ka. sa team namin. Pwede pong i-trade si Tita, si, para si Tita Elio punta sa amin. Parang unfair po yung team namin. Parang maraming <laughs> first-time players sa team namin. <laughs> Pack-lunch daw sa Sunday yung Team White. <laughs> magdala na kayo. Aiden, Tablado Aiden. kayo, magdala na kayo. Pack-lunch. Aiden, Aiden. Aiden, Aiden. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, uh, baby! <laughs> ano raw lulutuin yung sa Sunday? Ano Sunday lulutuin na natin? Sabi ni Beans. Ano? Sunday po mag-ano tayo? Yung... Sabi niya. Kung mananalo ang ano? Sunday sa... Yung pong palaro ba? Yung sa palaro? <laughs> after nung badminton? Ay after nung laro natin? Utang na lo, magpatalo na yung mga white. <laughs> o, okay po tayo sa ano. Okay daw eh. Sa, sa after nung volleyball, okay daw eh. Okay daw. Matagal dito niya tayo na. Marami ba yun? Halo-halo na lang. <laughs> Halo-halo, madaling gawin. <laughs> Hello, hello. Alamig eh. Ano ba ang weather sa Sunday? Hi, CJ. Sunday. Sunday. May, ka, may kamuti yung sahog eh. Tapos na yun. Sunday, Sunday. Oh, oh stop na lang tayo. 74. 35. Ah, okay pala. Pwede. Maganda. Oh, 75. Pwede mag-alo-alo. Pwede mag-alo-alo. Malamig na lang tayo. Or Milo na lang. Magtimpla tayo Milo. Oo. Oh. Sister Girly, magiginatan daw. Ayos na. James. Ivan! Ivan, Ivan. Ivan, Ivan. Ivan, Ivan. Hi, I- Hi, Ivan. Ivan, Ivan. Kamukha ni I think. <laughs> oh, makulit pa to Ay, Hi Ay Pogi Pogi Hi Pogi Hi Ay Hi Rizel Ay si Rizel Ay si Ate Get go Ay get go Ay si Ate Hi baby Hi, baby, Dab. Hi, baby. Oh. Hi, baby, Ella. Hi, bye. Go. Okay, let's start habang parating na yung iba. Okay, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we acknowledge your presence tonight lord god thank you lord god for all the wisdom that we're learning from you thank you lord god that uh, you will also help us to apply this lord into our everyday lives we pray lord god for safety away from covid19 Uh, we pray for all this family lord that you begin to bless them touch their hearts and continue to reveal yourselves tonight we love you in jesus name amen amen Oh, 90% English tonight, okay? For Daniel. <laughs> so that Aileen will uh, not have a hard time translating. <laughs> okay, who wants to start? We have a beautiful uh, story tonight. No? Beautiful book. First Kings. First Kings. It is entitled Kings because it's all about the kings of Israel. And uh, there are two parts, you know, first Kings, second Kings. And for the first Kings, it talks about the legacy, the life, the reign, the rise and fall of Solomon. So he started well, but he, end up, he ended up in a failure. So what are the things that uh, we learned from the life of Solomon and uh, within the book of uh, first Kings? Anybody who wants to start? Let's go, let's go. Chapter 4. Ito, 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 ito
there will be a lot of uh, others pa na, uh, who will join so we can start with the Pinoy takeout. So let me choose the first sharer. I will uh, pick the swerting mauna. I'm choosing. Dun, 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 dun. Rachel, <laughs> since you're the first one to appear. Mm. Uh, ang natutunan ko po, what I learned about from First King is always ask God to, uh, like, ask God uh, for wisdom and knowledge. Like, every day din po, uh, para po uh, pangunahan niya tayo, every day. Pero isa po akong natutunan, alala ko po yung sinabi ni Pastor about dun sa two, um, two women po na kiniklaim nila na anak niya si anak nila yung sanggol. So, sabi po ni Pastor dun, wag ang kinin yung atin. So, ang life, uh, parang life lesson ko po dun is yung mga talents po and then lalo-lalo na yung mga binigay sa atin ng Diyos, wag po natin siyang aangkinin. Nasa sarili natin na, o kaya ako may ganito kasi dahil sa akin o kaya dahil dahil ang galing ko dapat laging ano true god kaya tayo may ganun may ganong talent meron tayong ganong blessing may ganun tayong provision yun po amen amen thank you okay let's go to brother jai no po So ako uh, ay, hindi na pala ako. So ako po ang takeaway ko po is um yung secret po ni Solomon sa kanyang mga success which is um um aside from being strong and brave yung pong pag-follow sa mga uh, utos po ng Diyos sa God's word. So tayo ba ano po ba yung ating mga source of strength eh naiiba po ba sa mga parang uh, formula ng society yung uh, do we just follow the crowd para maging successful or yung mga ways of the world yung mga makamundong bagay para lang maging in tayo pero um uh, ang pinaka importante po talaga is we follow God's oh sorry the most important thing is for us to uh, follow God's word and allow him to help us become the people he wants us to be instead of just you know parang follow the crowd follow follow the uh kung ano yung in pero hindi naman maka maka jos kundi maka mundo parang mga ganun po yun po yung take away ko thank you Jai. well actually solomon started well no he, he he continued the legacy of his father david and um uh in fact The Lord visited him through a dream and asked him, Solomon, uh, what gift do you want? So instead of, you know, the normal, well, if you will ask me, what do I want? I will ask, Lord Harley Davidson. <laughs> so, <laughs> so not for Solomon. He asked for wisdom. No, uh, That is a manifestation that he is... Uh, Baga, he is one with God. So since God is so um, uh, pleased with Solomon, he did not only give him uh, wisdom, but he also gave him wealth. The problem is he wasn't able to handle the wealth, the fame, the power. No? So there's a lot of things to learn from Solomon. No? And... Uh, That was a good, I know. That was a good uh, example when he exemplified his wisdom. Remember, there was these two women approached her. Na uh, there was this woman uh, accusing that her son was taken away from her by another uh, uh, mother, but actually her son already died. No, but what Solomon did is uh, okay get my sword and I will split the baby into half. 
So the real mother, obviously, okay, di bali na, just give the baby to her. At least uh, the baby will live. It's okay. No? And then Solomon said that there will be no mother who will uh, you know, allow her son to be uh, killed. So she is the real mother. And then the baby was given to her. So that was a, a, no, a manifestation of great wisdom from God. Right? So, so that is a classic example of Solomon na, na uh, manifesting God's wisdom. Actually, that is, all, ano, that is always being ano, shown to a lot of mga Hollywood movies na yung scenario na yun, that part. No? So if you will watch uh, The Life of Solomon. I remember Tita Nancy uh, shared that she watched The uh, Life of David, King David in YouTube. No? So I, I encourage you also, search for King David, Solomon, Elijah. Yeah. Solomon, yeah. yeah was... All of the uh, biblical characters, usually they have movies in YouTube like Esther, like Ruth and Boaz. So you'll find movies, free movies in YouTube or sometimes Netflix. Hmm. Let's go. Thank you, uh, Cruz family. Let's go to Sembrano family. Tita Nancy, your turn. Okay. Uh, good evening, anyone. Happy birthday to Jasmine. Happy birthday. Okay, so Thank you, Pa. Okay. Um, the, the lesson I learned is about uh, it is good for us to have wisdom because it's coming from God because we ask. But it's not enough. The highest goal in life is the is to obey the Lord. Uh, that, like it's not enough. It says it's not enough to have a wisdom, but the highest goal in life is to obey the Lord. Mm -hmm. Especially during the times that you're like uh, reaping all the blessings of having your wisdom and wealth and fame and uh, do not allow it to baga, overtake you as a person. No? Always obey God. Kahit wala ka, during the times that uh, you have nothing, during the times that you, are, you have a lot of things, no? uh, blessings from the Lord, always obey Him. No? Always obey God. It makes sense. Thank you, Tita Nancy. Let's go to Beverly Hills. Pasok, Beverly Hills. Who wants to start? Uh, Tita Beverly Hills. Or Pastor Bert. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, I'm Malaya. <laughs> the big Malaya. The big Malaya. So what I've learned from um, uh, this, uh, what is uh, Sol King Solomon? At First Kings. First Kings. First Kings. Uh, that if Solomon didn't ask for anything, he asked for wisdom. Wisdom. He could have asked for for material things, yeah. a lot of things, but he didn't ask for that. He just asked for wisdom. Mm -hmm. He didn't ask for any self gratification or self desire mm -hmm. because he's still young. So, and he wants a wisdom because he wants to lead. Uh, he wants to be a good leader. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what I can see here that the Lord granted his, uh, his prayer or he, his desire of wisdom. And that's why he was, he's been a good leader since uh, hanggang sa ilang chapters until he fall sa, sa sin because of, mara, because of many beautiful uh, <laughs> ladies. <laughs> Hindi, nag-fall talaga siya sa yeah. mga yon. So that's why nag-commit siya ng, he committed adultery, uh, uh, ano ba yun, idolatry because of okay. these beautiful, beautiful women. So, so uh, 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 the, the, the lesson is uh, we, should be, we should give our life to God wholeheartedly without looking anything uh, on your side, or on the left side or the right side, just focus on God. Whatever we do, we just have to focus on the Lord, and the Lord will grant all the desires of our heart. And then we, if we, and also if we seek Him wholeheartedly, the Lord will just be with us. Yun po yung aking um, takeaway or yung aking natutunan. Amen. Amen. <laughs> oh, 
Why, why do you think, guys, na Solomon married 700 wives? Wow. No? Yeah. And what is the first and foremost reason why he married 700 wives? Is it because of lust? Or is it because of another reason? Maybe business. <laughs> Exactly. So that's, yeah. so I, I don't know. About business, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Aldrin. You're raising your hands. Hello, pa to keep the peace. Amen. Hello, hello, hello. Kasi mga anak ng hari. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> business. <laughs> business. To keep Territory. Peace. Territory. So I don't know if you're familiar with Game of Thrones. They were intermarrying their prince and princesses. Kings and queens, uh, because of political reasons. So one of the strategic uh, move of Solomon during those times is to keep the peace uh, for economic reasons, for business, territorial uh, dispute. So that is the main purpose why he married seven hundred wives. Another thing probably is. Um, uh, addiction or lust or whatever reason. Another thing probably would be, uh, you know, to to say to the world that I'm the greatest man there is because I have many wives. <laughs> Pero that started his failure, you know, because these wives came from different kingdoms, brought with them different religions, faith and gods and god goddesses so for them to for solomon to please them he allowed them to worship in israel and their gods to be worshiped and he even him he worshiped their gods so the the lord became so uh, angry and um, that disappointed kay solomon so that's why uh, he was uh, removed from his uh, throne. So, yun. Pastor Bert. Good evening, Pastor Bong. Uh, good evening, Pastor. Good evening, Senor. Yes, go ahead, Pastor Bert. Your turn. Uh, praise God. Si Solomon, ano? Si Haring Solomon. Si Haring Solomon. <laughs> uh, here we can see that uh, uh, wisdom or success in this world does not guarantee us to uh, to eternity no iba yung success na na makikita natin dito na there are two kinds of success they they define success as uh when you have a lot of things no but those things does not guarantee you to eternal life so there is another success that will lead you, no, for sure, ay yung uh, manatili ka sa Panginoon. Amen. Here we can see that uh, Solomon, no, even though we can see that he is successful on the first stage of his life and in his prime, and yet he failed no, uh, because he, he accepted the, the anito, yung the things of this world, even uh, allowing uh, women who are unbeliever who have their own gods na in allow niya na to get in. And later, uh, at the end, uh, he became a believer of the ungodly world. Uh, yan po yung takeaway ko. Pangalawa po, yung, ano, yung, sa, yung binanggit ni Pastor din kanina, na yung sa 2 Kings or 1 Kings chapter 2 na kapag ang isang tao ay malapit ng ma, ma, ayun, matigok sabi ni Sister Nancy. <laughs> so as leaders or uh, mga, we are already those who are in their needs or senior moments. No? And in, especially in leadership in the church. Uh, ang aming uh, uh, objective o isang layunin namin ay to train the next generation like David, no? I believe uh, abang when he ruled uh, the nation Israel, 
I believe uh, Solomon is always on his side and he see what his father is doing. And yet on his deathbed, bago siya mamatay, he even reiterated him, to him, no? Um, because he is the one to, to take the baton or the, the rulership in this nation, of this nation. Ang, ang aking uh, payo, no? Uh, kami sapagkat ang ang leadership ay hindi nananatili sa mga nangunguna and someday we will uh, pass away no hindi mo alam kukunin ka ng panginoon so uh, our advice ay sa mga young people natin ngayon you better listen to your leaders when they are telling you some important things because someday you will you don't know no when god call you will yes. you will take that uh that uh path of uh leading no in leading or leaders in leadership so yun po yung take away ko na kami mga leader na o yung li, na, namumuno ngayon someday uh, uh we will retire not retiring gusto sabihin na mag uh, <laughs> magbakasin kami hindi po yung leadership po o yung uh, baton it must be uh, given or uh, handled to the next generation kaya dapat mga kabataan na nandito ngayon so you better listen amen 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 i like that scenario pastor bert when david no on his deathbed uh, giving the charge to solomon yeah na Hey son, no, you are up for a great management ano, uh, task. So, kumbaga, remember the Lord your God. No? Yun yung sinabi niya. And uh, that's a good reminder for all second generation leaders, especially our church. No? Um, I agree with Pastor Bert. Uh, we are not born to keep the leadership forever. Maintain, yeah. Yeah, so we are as 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 early as now. We are trying to uh, train people, and uh, hopefully, uh, someday uh, you will put the flock first uh, as a priority, uh, so that uh, the Church of uh, Jesus Christ will be a good blessing to a lot of people who doesn't believe the Lord, and we can draw a lot of people in the church. So young people get ready so we will not always the we, we will not always be the pastors and the leaders and the whosoever but uh, someday the leadership will be turned over to you guys so actually by next week I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding <laughs> Okay let's go to the Ruiz family let's go to LA who wants to start Daniel or Aileen Hi guys, nice to see you. Good evening, Pastor. Good evening. Okay. Um, my takeaway is uh, like towards the end of the 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 video from today. Na sabi po niyo, Pastor, is like don't please other people except for God, because uh, you know we have. We have a tendency to focus on what other people think of us, but our main focus should be just to please God and what He would think of our actions. Amen. 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 I agree with Eileen. I remember there was a time that uh, we well, we were deciding that we will convert into an English church. From a Filipino to become an English church because there is this one person who is asking that uh, we should convert to an English church because he doesn't want to go to our church because we are a Filipino church. But from that time until now, I, I never saw that person. Good thing we never converted to English church <laughs> because we're not here to please one person or a group of people or uh you know we're here to please god and we are we must be true to our calling 
because people are designated to specific groups, people are designated to uh, specific um, uh, task, and uh, I'm glad that uh, we 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 listen to God, we please the Lord, not the people. So I agree with Eileen. Do not uh, please people, please God. Be an audience of one. Uh, do not be like Solomon who wished to please his uh, 700 wives and 300 concubines. Imagine if you see the first wife on January 1, you will tell that wife, I'll see you after three years because I have to attend with my other 1,000 wives. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine that, Daniel? Can you imagine yourself having 1,000 wives? <laughs> No, no. I was, <laughs> I was telling Eileen. I was telling Eileen how it looked if that would happen last year. Mm -hmm. That Salomon will have a, um, got a big stimulus check. <laughs> I know. Imagine if you have seven hundred wives, you have good stimulus checks. I agree with you. <laughs> okay, what's your takeaway, Daniel? <laughs> That's for funny. me. It was it was the same as sir, but also about the mom with a kid, and Solomon decided to cut the kid in half. It's like the mom decide the the real mom knows what's best for his son, for his kids. Amen, amen. Because there's no mom who will allow her kid to die, or you know, namapahama, or you know, uh. uh uh get cut be cut into half <laughs> so there's yes. a that's the, that is a manifestation of god's wisdom through solomon yes thank you david uh daniel sorry <laughs> so if you if you if you're eating your dinner don't forget daniel so you, you'll remember daniel's diet <laughs> but i like our dinner daniel uh, it's good tuna sandwich <laughs> okay let's go to Okay, let's stay in Los Angeles. Let's go to Noel and Josie Ascaraga. Ascaraga family. Ascaraga. Okay. Ah, uh, <coughs> uh, na Tita Josie ah. Blue team. Pinakita mo nang palabang ka talaga. <laughs> Nakawait. Nakawait yung Anastasio. <laughs> Nakawait oh. Wait lang. <laughs> Ah, andiyan na ba yung mga kabataan? Andiyan na po. Um, para sa mga kabataan ko. Um, mm. Ang take, take away ko eh, ano, dapat huwag tayong uh, lesson para sa mga kabataan. Uh, huwag tayong makipamatok. Ano ba yun? Involved. <laughs> huwag tayong ma-involved. Get involved. Sa mga, hanggat maaari, sa mga hindi kristyano. Para hindi tayo matulad kay Solomon. Solomon. Nangyari, nalungkot kasi ako. Mm -hmm. Ng bandang huli sa buhay niya. Mm -hmm. Na ano siya. Kaya hanggat maaari. Tsaka mas maganda yung kapwa natin, Siskani, magiging alam mo na, kasama natin sa buhay para walang maging problema malaki. <laughs> Amen. Yun lang po ang aking ano, magsila. I agree. O ano madadagdag niya. Hindi uh -huh. po ba, Pastor? Amen, Tita Josie, because uh, imagine having a wife or husband who's already a Christian. Sometimes mm -hmm. you, you, you have disagreements. So how much more if your husband or wife you know, has another God or has another uh, form of belief or religion? So... It will be a hindrance to your relationship. But it will always be a cause of ano, or, uh, disagreement, fight. Mm -hmm. diba? So as much as possible, as much as possible. Oh, yes. so, try to consider uh, fellow believer. Amen. Deliver. Amen. Okay, Papa. Uh, me follow up lang ako with regards to that. Uh, yung mga kabataan kasi na ang reason nila is yung belief nila is masyadong malalim. And the uh, reason out nila na pag nag uh, 
pag na-involve sila sa non-Christian or nag-asawa sila sa non-Christian, i-convert nila yung husband or wife nila. But it's not a guarantee. Mm. Why take a risk? Even Solomon lost his wisdom mm. dahil sa katigasan ng ulo niya. So, uh, just to make sure na magiging maayos yung uh, life ninyo and you will continue to serve the Lord Obey the Lord. It's better to start the right way. Yung uh, pareho kayo ng belief. Christian belief sa Panginoon. Yun lang po. Amen. Nahalala ko yung sinabi, tinanong ng pastor namin, yung isang kabataan sa church namin, no? our pastor asked one of the the, the youth in our church. Sabi niya, oh, yung kasama mo ba, Christian ba yan? Sabi nga nun. Sabi nung kabataan na babae, Opo, Pastor, Christian yan. Christian Gonzales ang pangalan <laughs> <laughs> So, hindi yun ibig sabihin, ha? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, to avoid the, ano, the chaotic life of Solomon, we should consider fellow believers. Yeah, fellow believer. Okay, thank you, Tita Josie and uh, Tito Noel. Let's go to Tita Alison. Hey, over there is the whole house. It's the whole. Okay, go ahead, Alison. Tita Alison. <laughs> we love one again, that's all. <laughs> okay po, um, siguro lang dun po nang sinabi po ni Tito Josie at saka po ni Tito Noel. Ano po kasi, um, uh, so far ang natutunan ko po is like, especially na notice po nung obedience si David, yung days ng obedience ni David at saka ni Solomon, yun yung golden age. Parang, um, peaceful siya, they experience peacefulness, kasi yun nga, mapayapa, wala pang gulo. Tapos, ano po, ang natutunan ko kay Solomon, nung, nagulat nga po ako eh, 7, 700 wives, plus 300 concubines, ano yung nabalance? <laughs> Tapos, ano po, um, Alison, imagine mo, remember, noong anniversary natin, ano po, Mm-hmm. We have 180 guests. Ang dami-dami na nun, di ba? Apo. Di ba no anniversary? 180 guests. Eh si Solomon, 700 wives, 300 concubines, 1,000 oh. people. 1,000 women yun, living in your palace. Imagine mo, having the 100, 180 guests only, eh, we're almost tolero at... Uh, saksa ka ng dami, hindi natin alam kung saan ilalagay yung tao. So, kita oh, mo yung disparity. Di ba? So, you, you get the picture mm-hmm. how many tapos wives yun, and concubines. Oo oh, po. Tapos yun nga po, yun, nagot nga po, 700 versus 300 concubines. Tapos magkakaroon pa siya ng anak doon sa mga ngayon. Exactly. Like po yung isang community. So, I was like, wow. Tapos ano po, um, So, napag-isip-isip ko po na dapat, um, wait, so, halimbawa, obedient na po tayo kay God, we shouldn't let our guard down right after that, na we should keep on holding on to our faith and praising and praying to one, to our one and only God. Mm-hmm. Um, keep praying for wisdom and guidance na kahit na we feel like, oh, we're on the right track. We, we, we won't, hindi po natin talaga may expect eh, if we're gonna keep on walking on that like straight path because um may meron pa rin point na magkakaroon na ng, ng ano ng choice na pwede tayong i-reroute parang detour mm-hmm. which is parang feeling ko ano eh nare-reroute siya dahil sa mga wives niya po kasi his wives didn't um praise and prayed to the same God that he is praising and praying to. Yeah. So, kaya siya tuloy na naliligaw. And then, y- ano po, na isip ko din yung obey God, pray for future, pa- pray for the future partner, 
wait for the one that God will give you. Don't seek ng sakit sa ulo. Um, na dapat same faith and yung belief pareho kayo. Mm-hmm. Tapos same God and yung same God yung sineserve nyo. Yan nga po, yung sinasabi ng Tita Josie, same yoke po. Kasi if both of you are not on the, pag both kayo, hindi kayo pareho ng belief, may tendency na magkakaroon ng friction. Because yeah. maybe competition about like which one, which which of your God is better. Or parang ganon. At least kung pareho kayo, alam nyo sa isa't isa na isa lang talaga yung God nyo. Isa lang yung pinipraise nyo na kung saan kayo nagpe-pray. Y- yung ano, isa lang yung sineserve nyo. And then, ano po, um, please are one and only God instead of other, instead of like other people. Sinabi din po ni Tita Eileen na instead of pleasing like people, please God. Na try not to be swayed. Just because you want to please someone doesn't mean that you have to do things them especially kung alam mo namang hindi naman dapat gawin mm. or you will be led astray po and then mag- may hirapan bungang buti nga po si David nakabangon pa po eh si Solomon talaga downhill po we didn't know we didn't know kung he's uh, saved or not we didn't know Apo. it's up to God only yeah yeah and uh I, I agree with Alison. No? Imagine if the reason of Solomon uh, getting married to 700 wives, uh, it's because of a uh, political reason. So it's also, uh, parang it's a showing of uh, lack of trust kay Lord. Kasi remember, it is God who put him in his position. So why think of other things? Like overthink siya eh. No, without those 700 wives and without those uh, 700 connections with other kingdoms, God can still uh, put Israel in a prevailing situation because He is God. He's, he's, he's God of all nations. So Solomon made a mistake in that area. Plus, marrying 700 wives no, brought uh, a lot of chaos sa buhay niya, pati sa spiritual life niya. Thank you, Alison. I, uh, one good thing, I like what, Al- what Alison said din. No? Sarabi niya na, you should pray together, find a partner na you can, uh, parang, uh, a partner who can, you know, you can do a lot of things with God. Now, I remember when I, when I got the calling from the Lord, and I asked the Lord, Oh Lord, if you are calling me to, to shepherd your church, I don't know where. Uh, please give me someone who's uh, uh, also into that kind of uh, ano, uh, interest. So I learned about, uh, I, I remember, I uh, pa girlfriend si Minnie nun, And then I learned about, she used to go to Hong Kong. From Hong Kong, she, she was smuggling Bible. No, put it inside uh, uh, all the Bibles inside her uh, dress and go to China. So that is something. Poggy points on. Kumbaga, oh, yeah. This is someone to be considered because if you need somebody uh, who will partner with you in ministry, you need a person who's courageous and all out for God. Right? So believer is the first choice. No? And then looks. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, let's go to uh, Sister Darren. Sister Darren, your turn. Hey, good evening. Good evening po. <laughs> yung ano po, yung lesson. Um, siguro po yung the unawareness of Solomon about the sin of idolatry, Pastor. Mm-hmm. Because bakit po? Dahil siguro sa pagkakaroon yun ng maraming asawa and then yung mga asawa niya hindi pa mga believers hmm. so ang nangyari is that dahil, dahil sa pagmamahal niya sa kanya mga asawa yung mga asawa niya inalaw niya na, na mag-worship pa nga sa, sa gods nila at siya pa nag 
na uh, pumayag na gumawa ng mga temples para sa mga gods. Yung city niya pa. Ang city niya. Kaya yun po, parang unaware siya doon na nagkaroon siya ng kasanan for being, ano, uh, having uh, idols. Kasi mga asawa niya to eh. So mm-hmm. kung... Kung as kung ang asawa mo ay ganoon, syempre madadala ka talaga. Madadala ka rin talaga. Mm. So, pastor, uh, lesson din po siguro sa mga young people na kailangan careful sila at magiging wise din sa pagpili ng mga partner nila in the future. Kaya si Paul nga nag-encourage sa atin na talagang sa 2 Corinthians 6:14 na do not equally be yoked with unbelievers. No. Mm. Amen. Not just in the relationship, but also in businesses, but also in uh, any transactions, na uh, they can lead you into other ano, baga into idolatry. Kasi po yung idol pastor hindi naman po siya ng it's not, it's, it's, it's not just a uh, religious symbol or image. Yes. It can be an object or an animal or in. And human. The person itself, no, the 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 woman, the man that you are attracted to, can mm-hmm. also be an idol, diba? So that is something na uh, ano red flag. If you if you idolize so much your wife, your husband, your children, no, as in you you put them into a pedestal and uh, you you love them more compared to God, no. Baga kit na kit na kit na kit ka sa yung ano sa yung misis o sa yung husband at uh, o kaya sa yung anak at uh, walang masama don but too much no is a red flag because uh, kung baga uh, kung baga it's a uh, something na you need to think about it must be God first okay so thank you sister Darren let's go to uh, sa kapit bahay nila sa mga Anastasios. Sino mauna? Birthday girl? Birthday girl. Happy birthday, po. Yes, Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank birthday. you po. Good evening po sa lahat. Uh, Takeaway ko po is put God first in everything. Kasi yung nangyari po di ba kay Solomon? Mm-hmm. Uh, nung umalis yung asawa niya, halos napabayaan niya lahat, masyado siyang na-devastated. Pero di ba sabi nga po ni Jesus sa first commandment is love your God with all your heart, with all with all your soul, and with all your mind. Yan lang po. Sabi ni Alison, GGSA, gandang-ganda sa asawa. <laughs> Wag daw tayong GGSA, gandang-ganda, o gwapong-gwapo sa asawa. Di ba? <laughs> Kailangan si Lord muna. Oh. Sa akin po galing yun. Ah, sa iba, <laughs> sa iba galing yun. Nakala kay Allison. <laughs> AM eh. Yeah, sabi ko po, sabi ni Dad. Ah, sabi ni Dad. Oo nga. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Alam ko namang GGSA ka ngayon kasi birthday ng asawa mo. <laughs> GGSS, gandang-ganda sa spouse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Drin, ikaw na. Okay. Um, sa akin po, Um, hanapin ko na po dito sa tinipe ko po. Ito. Saan na yun? Yung sa akin. Ito sa ta. Ayun. Ayan. Ayan. Take away. Wisdom is a great thing to want and have. But we must always pray and ask that may God's will be done in our lives. For singles, seek a partner who is a believer of Christ and always puts God first. Amen. Ayan po. Amen. Thank you, thank you. Let's go now to uh, Brother Rene. Brother Rene, ikaw na. Anong takeaway mo kay Haring Solomon? <laughs> Brother Rene, nakamute ka, Brother Rene. I-unmute mo yung ano mo. Yan. Okay na. Ako ba yan? Ikaw, ikaw po, Brother Rene. Ah, Pareto pala kay Rene kasi. <laughs> Una-una, medyo, medyo late na ako. Hindi ko masyado na catch up yung ano, 
Pero nung sumula lang mo po ako, narandaman kong ako ang subject. <laughs> <laughs> Bakit? <laughs> Uh, na identify ka ba bro? <laughs> ano, pilit kong uh, uh, inaarok yung ano yung essence ano yung ano yung takeaway ano yung magandang ano. Uh, may talaga mo sana ako pastor. Mm-hmm. Yung uh, dinig ko kanina pa yung sa Solomon yung 700 why tapos 300 yung uh, other woman niya tama po ba yan? Apo, apo. Tapos si David Si David, hindi naman ganun kadami. Sabi mo 7 or 10 or something. Ganun lang yan. Parang less than 10 lang yata si David. 8 hmm. si uh, King David. 8. 8? 8 po ba? Sabi eight sa po. Bible? Ah, sige. Claire, hey. pakicheck nga ako ilan si David. Thank you. Oh, 8 daw, sabi ni Pastor Claire. Okay. Tama. Para sa kapakanan ng mga bata, dun sa mga single pa, share ko yung Karanasan ko, uh, hindi ko inabot eh. Hindi, nung bata pa ako, wala, walang ganito eh. So, mas naitindihan ko sana. Mm-hmm. Pero, hindi naman komo ganun sa meron kang isa, dalawa, tatlong nanay ng mga anak mo. Para bang sinadya mo, pinangarap mo. Mm-hmm. Honestly, hindi. Kung uh, baga sa ano, ko, ko, nangyari, continue. Takbo ng pangyayari, gano'n sabihin natin. Uh, plus yung sample natin sa Bible, si Solomon at saka si David, eh, kultura nila ng mga unang panahon, medyo accept ng mga tao yung gano'ng klase ng pamumuhay. Tapos yung anarchy, mga hari-hari o mga ano. I-apply natin ngayon sa panahon natin ngayon. So nadinig ko kanina na put God pero siyempre, uh, ipagdadsal po natin na yun. Tapos, uh, kung nagkataong umibig ka sa hindi Christian, encourage mo na bago kayo magsettle, eh, encourage mo na maging ikaw ba o ako. Ngayon, ang mangyayari dyan, kunyari, nagkataong yung magkaiba ng sekta. Para sa akin, ang ano ko dyan eh, makita sa inyo, makita sa inyo sa bawat isa na mag-aasawa pa lang, makita sa inyo yung uh, Christian life, uh, life na hindi mo pinipigit. Yung, alam mo yung kosa, yung, iba yung kosa, iba yung sa pinipilit mo yung sarili mo. Eh. Mm-hmm. So, kailangan acceptable para nang sa ganon, kung ikaw ay Christian, makuha mo yung mahal mo na maging Christian. Kasi kung ang mag- yung isa na hindi Christian at maganda yung pinapakita niya, matatangay ka, makukuha ka niya ron. Hmm. Diba? Kasi kaya ang inaano ko, ina-analyze ko, eh ganito, ang tignan po, ang tignan po natin eh ganito. Unang-una, dahil tatlo yung nanay ng mga anak ko, eh pag sinabing pag-ibig, siguro doon mo yung pag-ibig talaga galing sa puso, hindi kinagamit yung isip. Kasi iba yung isip, iba yung sa puso din pati kung mm-hmm. ano yung mga naigyan. Ngayon, sabi ko sa mga anak ko, uh, pag umibig kayo, mag-aasawa kayo, damitin yung puso nyo, huwag yung katulad sa akin, ginamit, ginamit ko yung isip ko. Kaya nangyari, ayaw mo, di wag. Mm-hmm. Ganun kasimple. Pero pag puso, handun yung pinagalaban mo, handun yung gumagawa ka ng paraan. Andun lahat yung titiisan mo bago ka bumigay talagang dapan-dapa ka na. So yun ang difference. Ngayon, so nakataon nga na balik tayo doon sa hindi naman Christian. Eh sa parang nga sa akin eh, ipakita mong bukal sa kalooban mo yung pagiging Christian mo, makita sa'yo, ang kilos pa na nalitan mo, tapos sa duha mo. Tao tayo, nakakamali o no? At least minimal. At least may, may nakikitang hope. O, o, siguro marahil tama ka, let's give it a try. Yan na. Ngayon, uh, doon sa nadinig ko kanina, yung si Singel pa si Alison, uh, maganda rin yung nakikita niya ng ano, pero gusto ko lang yung pasayos na ang puso natin, hindi nakapamili kung sino. Tapos pag-usapan pa yung uh, religion, lalong komplikado. So, kung ikaw Christian ka ngayon, pangatawa na mo yung pagiging Christian mo, 
Tapos kung umibig ka sa hindi Christian, kausapin mo yung sarili mo. Kaya ko ba? Kaya ko bang hindi siya nga maging asawa ko? Mahanap ako sa Christian family. O kaya ko ba siyang gawing Christian? Yan ang mga tanong eh. Hmm. Ang talagang mahal mo. Kasi ako, ang gusto kong ano yung yung uh, pagmamahal talaga hindi dahil sa isip hindi dahil oh hindi ka Christian ayoko sa iyo. Oh, ganda ayo. Ayo na ayo ko na ron kaya nagkaroon ako ng problema. Take it from me. Eh ito, puso ng gamit niyo. Magkamali man kayo, kayo niyo dalhin. Dahil umibig kayo eh. Diba? Nagkataon talaga na hindi naman tayo perfecto. Taka, it takes two to make a tango. Para mag-trust yung pagsasama ninyo. At takot-takot na sacrifice yan kahit pareho kayong Christian. Sa ngalimbawa, sa family sa ngayon, sa mga single, iisa na na yung tatay ninyo. Pero hindi pa rin kayo magkasundo kung talawa kayong magkapatid. Lalo kung tatlo, apat, lima. So, kaya ko binabanggit yun, hindi sa ano yun eh, hindi sa kung saan ka na doon, ano, ano kinabibilangan mo, ang ibilang mo yung sarili mo na kanya mo bang i-attach kasi marami na mamali sa pag-aralan ko, graduate ko ng, ng uh, Couples for Christ, kaya mas may, may naibindihan ako kahit paano, na huwag mong hanapin ang sarili mo sa babae. Kung ikaw babae, huwag mong hanapin ang sarili mo sa ilaki. Otherwise, sarili mo lang yung ibigin mo. Kung iibig ka, mahalin mo lahat sa kanya. Nari, kahit anong gawin mo, sa talaga ang ano, binabalik-balik mo sa talaga yung gusto mo. Ngayon, maraming pangit sa kanya. Take mo na lahat yun. Tulungan mo siya. Magtulungan kayo para maitama. Ikaw rin kasi may mga flows din. May mga mali ka rin. Ganun din ang gagawin niya. Kung nakita niya na sinusuportahan mo, sinusuportahan ka rin niya. Magtulungan tayo. Walang perfect relationship. Kaya lang tayo nagtatagal sa relationship na to dahil sa Panginoon, dahil pinagdarasal natin. At pinagsisikapan natin na masib yung uh, union na yun. <laughs> Mahaba na masyado. Sige po. <laughs> Thank you, Brother Rene. Thank you. Oo. Naalala ko lang paano pag nainlove ka sa isang hindi Christian. Di ba? Nung naging Christian po ako, when I became a Christian, I had a girlfriend na obviously na Christian yeah. so but uh, during that time kasi brother in mentioned that uh, if you are a Christian and you are in a relationship with a non-Christian you should uh, share your faith and uh, you know try to bring that person into Christ di ba tama ba brother in yun yung ano sinasabi niya uh, i did that also no and uh, and uh, i remember I asked my girlfriend then uh, to come to church with me because I told her that uh, I learned something new and uh, she might get uh, she might be interested. But the problem is hindi siya, she's not interested. So uh, until there was this preaching by our pastor, uh, he was uh, challenging us to lay down your eyes up. And uh, God specifically speaking to my heart. He, he spoke into my heart na Uh, your 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 Isaac is your girlfriend. If you really love me, you should you will trust me uh, to uh, to who to to whom whatever to whom to whomever na ibibigay ko sa you. No, so I went to my girlfriend then. I told her that uh, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> sa yung classic line ng mga lalaki na sorry it's not you it's me so we broke up so malungkot yon pero following God's will but uh, eventually he he gave me uh, my wife today so it's worth it right so uh, one thing I remember uh, one thing I learned from that uh, is that I am not uh, we uh, we should not go after a person but we should wait for God to give the proper, the right person for us. Because we're only one. Count yourself. We're only one. And we are designed for one person also because it's a partnership. So for all uh, mga youth natin, uh, do not look for love or partners. Look for God first 
No, seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. After you look for God, and then the Lord will reward your heart. He will uh, send you somebody specially for you, for you alone, and uh, you uh, up to a person that you will make your life with. No, so that you can live a, a happy life together and serve together for God. Diba? So, wag magmadali at maghintay sa Panginoon. It pays to wait. Right? Thank you, Brother Rene. Let's go to Tita Fe Dumuk. Tita Fe. Ito, madaming ano to si Professora. Madami ito uh, <laughs> masishare sa atin. Sa birthday Birthday girl yeah. din to ha. Ah. Tandaan nyo, birthday girl. 19 years old na si Tita. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Uh, isa sa thoughts na kuha ko is that obedience to God is the key to prosperity. So, example to this is like what the, the ones who have spoken ahead of me have mentioned, yung choosing a life partner. God's command is to not to be unequally yoked with the unbeliever. And it is true also that you may, one may think, ah, kung nag-asawa na kami, dadalhin ko sa Diyos, magiging united kami. But somebody said, there is no guarantee. I think Brother Noel, and he is right. Not in all cases, yung naging asawa mo na unbeliever, na susunod sa iyong faith it's not a guarantee there, Peter, and, there are some there are some who worked out but uh -huh. not all not all, not all. But, but there are not some all. ano there are some kasi i i i know i know of people na talagang uh, their their wives or husbands uh, get to know the lord through them and uh, yeah. unbeliever to believers but mm -hmm. if you will get a percentage it's it's in a lower percentage. Mm -hmm. Um that is true pastor. Yung uh, yung youngest brother ko who is now with Jesus um uh, before yung girlfriend niya uh, was an unbeliever no, not unbeliever but she was a Christian she was a Roman Catholic pero gusto ng kapatid ko na mag-isa sila ng faith talaga and uh, uh, he made her promise that if they get married, talagang susundin niya ang faith na, niya ng kapatid ko, which she tried. And uh, Pero when they were already married, uh, parang may panahon na gusto niyang pumunta doon sa Roman Catholic Church. But as the years went by, sabi niya, o oh, sige, susunod na lang ako kay Dani kasi nakita ko naman yung ugali niya na Kristiano sabing ganyan. Pero, the, as I said again, it's not always, it doesn't always happen that way. Another example that I can cite is, mayroon akong kaibigan. She, she loved to take lunch with me sa trabaho. And dahil alam niya na I pray to thank God for my food, you know, before eating, tumatabi, sumasabay siya sa akin. But, sasabihin niya most of the time, ate, you always take mention of Jesus Christ. But she is, he is only the son. Why don't you pray all the time to the father? So at that point, na-realize ko na hindi magkatugma ang aming, uh, what they call this, yung aming faith, faith sa Diyos, you know. So, yun ay another example na hindi talaga, the best talaga is when we try to find a partner, not only sa pag-aasawa, not only sa family, but also sa lahat ng, ng bagay, uh, sa field trip, sa business, yes, sa kung anong endeavor, it is always best that we find a Christian. Pero hindi lahat naman ang tinatawag na Christian ay matrust mo. Yes. Kasi depende rin yun sa level of spirituality. 
May Christian Gonzales lang ang pangalan, Tito. <laughs> Oo. So, another thing is when we allow God's presence to reign over us, God is always there. Even, even when we don't, don't ask for that something that we desire, God already sometimes goes ahead of us. Kahit na hindi pa natin nasabi yung prayer, kahit na hindi pa natin nagawa yung petition, He already has answered our prayer. Amen. And, 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 but, and also, I should say, always in anything, it is important to seek God's wisdom. And in doing so, we can never be wrong because God can never be wrong. So, sa lahat ng bagay, seek God's wisdom. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Tita. Okay. Kain muna kayo ng mangga. Mangga kayo dyan. <laughs> Let's go to... Uh, ano? Layo-layo tayo ng konti. El Monte. Santillan family. Pastor Tin, Brother Cons. Game na ba kayo? Ako napapatulog pa sila kay Bogart. Okay. Unahin muna natin. Balikan natin mamaya ang El Monte. Punta tayo sa Raymundo Brothers and Father. Good evening po. Uh, ako po yung take-away po namin. Ano? Ang take-away po namin yung KKK King Solomon, no matter how how why he is, how why nice. he why is it kay strong siya, but still at the end failure pa rin siya kasi nga uh, kumbaga yung faith niya na wala din kay God eh parang ganoon. Hindi ka pares yung tatay niya na although 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 nagka nagkasala naman si King Solomon, pero uh, si uh, si King David, bumalik Mabalik siya kay God. Yon, yun yung yun yung pinaka summarize ko nitong si Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> so yun nga as explained by my dad um, sa conquest kasi ni King Solomon wherein nag, masyado siya nag-focus sa peace and prosperity ng Israel to the point na nako-overlook niya uh, without God hindi maging, hindi maging accomplished kasi sinagbigin ng wisdom sa kanya is from God so yun Amen, amen CJ Ayun na po yun. <laughs> Copy paste na. Maganda sa kanila kasing tatlo after nila daw na mag uh, manood eh, nagkakaroon sila ng sarili nilang life group. Pinag-uusapan na nila yung isang take away. So di ba? Maganda yun. It brings the family together. Di ba? Thank you, Raymundos. Let's go to Tita Jacelle. Hello po, good evening. Hello, good evening. <laughs> po is, as a believer of Christ, we should see the red flags po of the people around us, like friends, partners, and many more. So 700 po na wives ni Solomon, I am sure na sobrang dami na niyang bad sides na nakita, but he still chose to keep all of them. Mm. So he was exposed to evil and let it take over him. So indeed, bad company corrupts good character. Amen. Amen. Yeah, applicable yun doon. Bad company corrupts good character. Yep. 700. My goodness. 300 plus 700. 1,000. Ooh, dami. Parang isang barangay na ina. Thank you, Sister Giselle. Master Kled, your turn. Sabi po ni uh, si Pastor Mini daw gusto niya suma mag mag siya. <laughs> Bishop Mini ka na daw. Uh, beware of goons, guns and golds <laughs> and then the girls. <laughs> goons, guns and girls. And golds. Then this is uh prior to that talagang may stern warning naman si Lord eh, na ito yung magiging downfall ng isang tao. Katulad niya ng king. Like, uh, if you involve yourself uh, with uh, 
girls, katulad nga yun, daming girls, diba? Tapos power, because of the goons. So marami kang power under you, horses, under you, that's an indication that you're really powerful. And richness, it's very obvious. So those are the signs and we should check as a probably warning. I mean, we have to be aware that, you know, it may lead to something. So just like what happened to him. So yun lang. So goons, and, si, goons and guns, power, gold, wealth, and then girls. Yun yung mga chika babes yeah. ni Solomon. Yes. So dapat mag-ingat. Sabi ni Lord, bawal daw yun. Bawal mang babae. Pag sobra, sobra. <laughs> okay. Isang babae lang dapat. Okay. How about you, Pastor Fred? Uh, uh, for me, it would be the... Uh, I think it's a good indicator and reminder na when we are when we stray away from God, um, divisiveness seeps into relationships. And a big a big uh, example of that is the two brothers that decided to break their kingdom apart, and uh, mm-hmm. because of that, they were already a small nation. They became even smaller and um, weaker, which we'll see in the next episodes. Uh, the they will get conquered by the Babylonians, by the Persians, the Assyrians, and they made themselves, they, they dug their own graves by um, turning away from God. And I think it's a good reminder na pag tayo po lumayo kay Lord, um, we are more susceptible into making the wrong choices and we have less accountability around us to remind us of um, what is a good choice that is holy and pure and good. And um, yun lang po na parang pababala. Mm-hmm. During the time of Moses, no, magulo kayo. The time of Joshua, okay. Why? Joshua put God first. Now, after ni Joshua, there came the judges. Diba? Andiyan si Judge Samson, andiyan si Judge Gideon, ang daming judges. No? And yet, magulo, apostasy of Israel. And then there came, sabi nila, ayaw na namin ng judges, gusto namin ng king. Minigyan sila ng king, si King Saul. Mas magulo. But, but uh, King David came, umayos. Why? Because King David is a man after God's own heart. So, pansin niyo yung pattern. Joshua, inuna si Lord, umokay. David, inuna si Lord, umokay. And then Solomon, inuna si Lord, umokay. So, every time na inuuna si Lord, okay. Maayos. Peaceful, walang kaaway. Uh, economic prosperity. Everything okay. no? And then, nag-downfall si Solomon. Tapos yung anak niya, si Rehoboam, eh nakiusap yung another nine nine tribes sa sa north sa pangunguna ni Jeroboam sabi nila pwede po bang baba niyo yung taxes sabi ni ano ni ni ano ni Rehoboam yung anak ni Solomon hindi siya nakinig sa mga wise na advisor niya na matatanda nakinig siya sa mga bata sabi niya eh yung tatay ko Pinahirapan kayo sa taxes, mas pahirapan ko kayo, sabi niya gano'n. Yung tatay ko, hinampas kayo ng dati ko, ako hampasin ko kayo ng scorpion. So nahati yung kingdom. So because of pride, inuna na naman yung sarili, and then nawala. So every time naunahin yung Diyos, okay. Every time naunahin yung sarili, semplang. So di ba get the clue. Sa buhay natin, piliin na natin. Unahin mo, pansinin mo, pag inuna mo yung diskarte mo, semplang. Pero pag inuna mo yung Diyos, di ba? Maayos yung buhay mo. Di ba? Tahimik. Di ba? So, thank you, Pastor Gled. Let's go to Pastor Kiko. Yan. O, Kix, ikaw na. Kiko. Ah, uh, po. Ang take away ko po ay um, the Lord will be the wisdom to us para patuloy po ang papuri natin sa kanya at mag 
lingkod. God will make better things as wisdom to people na maging believers sa Kanya at, and as to Him, uh, ang malaking bagay po yung tanggapin natin siya as a provider that I think to do sapagkat po siya ang ating tagalik, tagapagligtas at bibigyan po tayo ng buhay na walang gan. At eternal peace, siyempre po ay yung at magtiwala sa kanyang mga salita, dapat maging obedient tayo sa sa kanila. At at ano po, wag po masyadong padalin yung katulad yung katulad ng ano, yung pag-ibig. <laughs> at unahin po yung sarili at gagamitin po yung puso. Yun lang po. <laughs> amen, amen. O tiklupin niyo na yung banig niyo, may nanalo na. <laughs> <laughs> okay, galing okay. Tita Fe, tita Fe. Ma- mamaya may itatanong po ako sa inyo. Mamaya oh, sige, lang. Pa. sige po, sige po. Thank you Kiko. Ang ganda ng sinabi naman ni Kiko. Mukhang magpapastor to si Kiko ah. Okay, let's go to Los Angeles pa rin. Sa ano, kina Tita Jaya and Tita Bilma. Pastor, taga Glendale po kami. Ay, Glendale pa. Ligaw <laughs> pa ako. Ligaw pa. From Glendale, California. <laughs> Una na po ako. Sige so, po. in 1 Kings po, the Bible tells the story of Israel as it changes from a decent nation hanggang sa naging greedy po sila. Under sa rule ni Solomon, ay pagpatuloy po niya yung nasimula ng tatay niyang si David. And mas lalo pa pong naging kilala yung Israel and mas lalo sila naging prosperous nung umpisa. And then later on, dahil po masyadong naging makamundo si Solomon, Israel fell apart. Um, ang lesson po na nakuha ko dito is lasting success in life depends on remembering what's important. Siyempre, yun po is si God. Those who forget about God and begin to think they made themselves successful will fade away. So lahat po na nakakalimot sa kanya Dahil sa mga tinatamasa natin, let's say, parangal, pagkilala, success, kayamanan, at marami pa pong iba. Hindi po yun magtatagal and mawawala din po yun kung hindi po tayo marunong um, sumunod sa salita ng Diyos. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastora. <laughs> <laughs> Tatanggap na sana ako eh. Kita Bilma, it's your turn. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Good evening. Uh, sa akin naman po, noong maging hari si Solomon, napakalaking role, role yung ginampanan niya dahil, dahil siyempre tatay niya si David. Mm-hmm. So ang ganda po noong ginawa niya na humingi siya ng wisdom kay Lord. Ito po ang lagi nating tatandaan, bago po tayo gagawa ng mga importanteng desisyon o hakbang, ay huwag po nating kalimutang humingi ng gabay sa ating Panginoong Diyos. Yun lamang po. Amen. Amen. Salamat po, Tita Bilma. Okay, let's go to Jeannie. Hi, Jeannie. Good evening. Hi. What's your takeaway? Your Korean takeaway? <laughs> or Pinoy um, takeaway? Um, my takeaway is from the video because mm-hmm. um, I remember when you quote unquote saying to search for God's heart. I think it's really like it shows of importance by getting a bountiful connection and to have God as a chance to entrust. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jeannie. Okay, let's go to. Pastor Bong, Pastor Bong. Hi Pastor, um, gandang gabi sa inyo lahat. Mm-hmm. Sa akin Pastor, ang takeaway ko, no, uh, um, Solomon had a good start. Uh, he humbled himself. He, submit, he submitted himself to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Pero uh, after experiencing yung wealth, fame, power, and uh, nagbago na yung takbo ng buhay niya, nawala yung parang yung pag-ibig niya sa Diyos, yung first love niya sa, sa Diyos. So, instead na um, mahalin niya yung hari, um, ang minahal niya, yung, mag, yung mga Miss Universe pa. So, pinagpalit niya sa Miss Universe na isang libo. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So, in Pasok, ang kwan nga roon, kwan ko, seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. So, ayun nga, yung, uh, and all these things will be added unto you. So, hindi lang yung prosperity ang makakasagot sa uh, happiness ng buhay. It's a contentment with God. Siya lang yung makakasat satisfy sa atin. Wala nang iba. Ayun ba sa akin? Amen. Thank you, Pastor Bong. Iwasan ng Miss Universe. Pero <laughs> daming kandidate nun. 700 plus 300. Okay, punta na tayo sa mga Santillan. Brother Cons, Pastor Tin, are you there? Puro mga copy-paste na lang po, Pastor. Eh. <laughs> yeah. Pero in in our own words, mm-hmm. um, the topic, ang pinaka-main point ng topic was about yung ano, yung uh, pinaka-highlight po was yung about kay Solomon. We all know about what happened, you know, that uh, he could have picked anything in the world. Mm-hmm. He could have asked for something more. Yeah. Pero he humbly just asked for wisdom. You know, na na syempre ba, we have to understand bata pa si ano rin nun. Solomon tapos he's already feeling a big shoe. So maybe siguro ano rin siya kanya like oh paano ko gagawin to and everything. So he just basically just asked, you know, God, you know, give me wisdom in order for him to rule, you know, the kingdom da ano na pinagkalob sa kanya ng Diyos and because of that natuwa ang Diyos na bless ang Diyos and sinabi niya na you know na not only that not only wisdom I give you but more you know but wait there's more so yung nga nangyari nga yung verse na seek ye first the kingdom of God hmm. and um yung nga lang um all throughout the Bible ano study um if you notice it always talks about sin it always starts something innocent it always started something good and then ended up you know ending up really bad mm. and the end game of all this is that um new lineage this it's the lineage of jesus christ kung makikita mo yung ano yung grace and mercy ni god all throughout their lineage until the coming of christ from there ano uh yun lang um, yun lang masabi namin <laughs> just like pare-pares yung ano eh yung mga take away na rin eh. you know uh, nasdabulag sa sarili ng ano kakayahan you know there because you know there will come a time na ganun talaga pero lagi natin tatandaan na no matter what we do no matter kung ano man ang ano natin in, uh, well let's always remember na ang Diyos ang nagbibigay para atin ng increase. All the knowledge, all the work na mga naano natin. Kasi oftentimes nakalimutan na natin. Oo, oh, una, we started out very passionate for the Lord. And then next thing, kat- katulad ni David, <laughs> katulad ni Solomon. And then next thing you know, you know, wala na. Everything is just, ano, The most important things, at least, ano doon yung grasya ng Panginoon. Always very, you know, willing to forgive us of our sin and to give us another chance Amen. of redemption. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Cons. Pastor Tim, may sabihin ba? Oo, yun na rin. Ayun. On behalf na rin kasi kasama din yung baby. Ah, sige, sige. <laughs> No problem. Okay. Naintindihan namin at uh, nursing siya ng baby. So, Tita Fe, may tanong ka kanina bago tayo sa prayer request. Okay. Before I ask yung tanong ko, Pastor, mm-hmm. um, it, it is really hard to overcome temptation mm-hmm. when we are neither hot nor cold. Mm-hmm. So, talagang it is very important na mag-attend tayo ng Bible study ng prayer meeting, ng fellowship sa church, read the Bible and pray so that we become strong to fight against temptation because temptation is all around. Mm-hmm. And when we are not really strong in the Lord, we are neither hot nor cold for God, it's easy to fall into temptation. Mm-hmm. 
My question, Pastor, is in the home, when the family is complete, meaning to say that both husband and wife or mother and father are in the family, hmm. maganda yung set na yan. Kung Christian sila, no? Hmm. Um, science says that um, the father has 45% influence over the family. Mm -hmm. The greater portion is an influence by the mother over the children. Ang question ko, Pastor, um, very strong naman si David sa Diyos. Mm -hmm. He was God-fearing and, God, and he has been described as the man. What was the description? The man, man after, after God's, God's own woman. heart. Yes. How come na yung anak niya hindi na hindi na hindi niya na influence hindi siya na apektuhan ng godly personality ng daddy niya mm -hmm. nag-asawa pa ng ganon 1000 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. At alam ko yung idolatry na yun has put him, him down it was a strong force to put him down because that's of the devil, you know. And question ko, go, going back to that, why was, why did Solomon become that way when his father had a Christian influence over him? Mm -hmm. Godly okay. influence over him. Regarding sa tanong ni Tita Fe, una, uh, Si David ba merong Christian influence kay, kay Solomon? I think there is kasi Solomon started okay. He was good at first. No? Imagine, uh, sabi nga ni Brother Conrad, eh, accepting wisdom, baga, uh, choosing wisdom over wealth or anything in the world. Eh, that is something. Kumbaga, no? Kumbaga, that is something that he got from his father na humility and meekness. So, if there's something na nakuha si Solomon, yes. Ito po yung problema. May tinatawag tayong free will. Mm -hmm. So, however we influence our children, they have free will. So, the free will to choose what is right and wrong. So, especially if you were overwhelmed by wealth, fame, and power, you have the tendency to forget about God. Mm -hmm. So it's not, uh, yes, uh, it, it is a good thing we influence our children, but still it is up to God and up to the free will of the person because that is a gift that is given personally to each one of us. Even us, if we choose not to follow God tomorrow, then that is exercising our free will. And God is a gentleman and he will always um, acknowledge that. No, but uh, he will be hurt, obviously, pero yun yung, yun yung bad side ng free will. Eh. And, uh, and Solomon exercised that free will. Of course, if David was alive, eh, he will not be pleased no, seeing Solomon taking in 700 wives and 300 concubines. Mm -hmm. so for sure, uh, if there is one thing na he will talk to Solomon, is about his, uh, his experience with his mother, Bathsheba. So... Uh, it, take a, it took a toll kay David yung experience na yun. I'm sure nasabihin niya yung kay Solomon. But I think, Tita, the answer would be yes, uh, he was influenced by David but eventually on the latter part of his life he chose his own free will. But he exercised his free will. I agree with you, Pastor. Uh, yun ang tinatawag na conditional conditional factor uh, to receive God's blessing. Mm -hmm. Kung yung free will niya is to choose the wrong thing, then he misses the blessings from God. On the other hand, kung good, then he gets the blessings. Conditional. Yeah, in the case of, uh, in the case of shepherding, I cannot go to each one of the houses ng mga members and uh, take the member into the bathroom at paliguan sila na alas ocho ng umaga, so that I can take them in the van and put them inside Wiley Chapel. Mm -hmm. Everything is free will. Mm -hmm. So we need to exercise that yeah. free will. 
even even Thank my you. kids i cannot i cannot force my kids to go to church or to uh, i can influence them but they can still uh, exercise their free will if you exercise the free will uh, in in accordance to god's will then you'll get the blessings if you exercise it in in, a, in another way around that's what we call the the tragic side of free will <laughs> So Solomon exercised that and we cannot do anything about it. So, yeah. Thank you, Pastor. Thank oh, you, thank you. Thank you, Tita. So uh, let's go to our prayer request. Another night of uh, full of wisdom. Anything you want to request to God? Any prayer request? Who wants to start? Anything? Ay, Pastor, bukas pala test ni Noel uli. Bali, okay. Weekly okay. po yung ano. So, Noel Madrid. Okay. Uh, testing ko. So, test. Okay, anything else? Can I request? Can I request kayo dyan? Bili-bili na. <laughs> Sakya po, 20 pesos yan. <laughs> Ay, binibili talaga ang prayer. Sakya po, tintatabi ka doon sa aling may rosaryo. 20 pesos nung araw yun. <laughs> As a prayer. Pastor, yung 700 club ba, hindi ba inspired sa buhay ni Solomon? <laughs> hindi na. <laughs> hindi na. <laughs> ngayon lang ang 700 club eh. 700 club ni Solomon lang yun. Uh, ah, Pastor, buti to, may question lang ako. Buti to, uh, at the time, walang sakit, ano? I mean, kung compare ngayon, Pastor, my age, my ano, uh, but uh, just uh, just curiosity. Uh, but it walang sakit at that time. Puro royal family yan eh. Well, meron na rin tita, lalo na, hindi naman advanced yung kanilang science noon. I'm sure meron na rin noon. No, no? uh, that is part of the consequence. Hmm. Hindi ko lang alam kung may AIDS na noon. Pero, pero I'm sure meron na sexually transmitted disease noon. Imposible yung wala. Dahil na... Uh, oh, Polygamy. Oh. And Andre. At saka wala pa naman kasi nun ng mga deterrent na ano eh, na ginagamit ngayon or pills or condoms or whatever. Uh, I'm sure may, may, may nag, uh, ano, nag, uh, nagkakasakit during those times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So pag nagka-COVID si Solomon, lahat sila may COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Pabuti hindi na COVID si Solomon Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> syphilis syphilis <laughs> okay ma meron pa po ba tayong prayer request manalangin na tayo sige po let's bow our heads close our eyes let's pray hallelujah salamat Panginoon nakila ka sa buhay namin we uh, we enthrone you tonight Lord God thank you Lord for teaching us a lot of uh, Wisdom regarding uh, from the man of wisdom, Lord God Solomon. Thank you, Lord, that uh, we are learning so much from his life that uh, we don't have to uh, repeat it. And uh, some goodness, Lord God, that uh, we need to uh, emulate it. Lord. Thank you, Lord God, for being our God, for being our, our answering God. Thank you, Lord God. We praise you. Doon sa anak ni Tita Nancy na nag-negative na sa kanyang COVID-19 test. Thank you, Lord God, sa mga answered prayers namin uh, sa U.S. Citizenship ni Jaya, sa uh, okay na uh, for uh, healing the Ruiz family, for he healing the Mendez family, for uh, healing May Tumayaw. Uh, we pray, Lord God, for uh, Romy Giwa. Uh, uh, he's uh, lingering, Lord God, uh, with... Uh, kidney problem and COVID-19. Uh, we pray for healing. We pray, Lord God, sa pagdating ni Mami Mary Ann, na biyana ni si Sir Darren, na ingatan niya po siya, uh, safe travel, as well as kay Faith, na padating din, Panginoon. 
We pray, Lord, God, sa mga kaibigan, kamag-anak, at churchmates namin na naapektuhan ng COVID-19, pagalingin niyo po sila. We pray for new hope na na pagalingin niyo po, Panginoon, uh, sa sila, Panginoon. Uh, we pray na, na makabalik, Panginoon, lahat, Panginoon, ng uh, naapektuhan, Panginoon. We pray, Lord God, for protection sa mga home health nurses namin, si Cyrus, si LJ Plan, Acosta, Angeles, Tumok Family, ng mga frontliners. We pray for James, Joan, King, Wedge, ng mga nurses, Panginoon, na nasa frontline din, Lord God. We pray for all our all the fitness members na to keep us away from COVID-19, especially sa aming valuable uh, uh, con, uh, game, Panginoon. It, uh, wala pong injury, walang COVID-19, Lord God. We pray, we pray, we pray Lord God, na magkaroon ng uh, makahanap ng place si Joey. Uh, we pray, Lord God, for uh, a gift of uh, having a child for Jaya and Derek, Lord. We also pray for Tita Pepot na wala na siyang chemo, fi- chemo pills at uh, uh, totally uh, delivered na siya, Panginoon, from, the, from her sickness, Lord. We pray, Lord God, for uh, uh, sa birthday ni, uh, ni James Pagio at uh, birthday, Panginoon, ni Jasmine and Anastasia, Panginoon. We pray for good health and uh, blessings be upon them, Lord God. Uh, we pray, uh, we thank you, Lord God, uh, sa, sa negative uh, COVID uh, uh, test ni Ryan, uh, anak ni Tita Nancy, Lord God. We pray for the Mesa family na, na embrace them sa kanilang uh, pag, pagpipighati, Panginoon, sa grieving time nila, sa pagkamatay ng kanilang ama, Panginoon. We pray for Faith, Hazel, David, na malayo sa COVID-19, mga anak ni Tita Pepot, And we also pray for the, uh, the operation of Banyons ni Stephen na maging maayos. I also pray for Noel Madrid, Lord, na maging negative ang COVID test niya bukas, Panginoon. Maraming salamat sa lahat. Uh, bago pa namin ibuka ang aming bibig, ay sinagot niya na, Panginoon, ang aming panalangin. Uh, until tomorrow, Lord God, our fifth and last day, last night of uh, prayer and fasting, Uh, we learn so much from the entire week and uh, we would love to continue to learn more from you, Lord God. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. All right. All right. So, picture na tayo. Picture, picture. Buksan na mga bintana. Yay! Yeah. I got it. Picture, picture. Ayan, buka sa balahat. Ayan, 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 ayan. Okay, doki, doki, doks. Okay, doki, doks. All right. One, two, three, smile. <laughs> okay, guys. Maraming salamat. God bless you. Bye-bye, bye-bye. God bless po sa lahat. Good night. 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 See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.